Come into his presence with thanksgiving in your heart and give him praise and give him praise. Come into his presence with thanksgiving in your heart, your voice is raised, your voice is raised. Give glory and honor. We the Lord is mighty, our Creator. We belong to Him. We all belong to Him. Oh, oh that all of us today would listen to His voice with open minds and with our hearts. Give glory and honor and power unto Him. Jesus, the name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Hearty welcome. Nice to be back with you once again after my trip to Rome. Blessings from the Holy Father. He blessed me, blessed all of us for this Christmas. Let's begin as we are just approaching Christmas and there's an anxiety, there's an urgency. We've got to run five days and Jesus comes with us, prepare ourselves well for his coming. Let's prepare ourselves by asking God's forgiveness for our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have grievously sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Be Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the prophet Micah. Thus says the Lord, You, O Bethlehem, Ephartha, who are too little to be among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to be ruler in Israel, whose coming forth is from of old, from ancient days. Therefore, he shall give them up until the time when she who is in labor has given birth. Then the rest of his brothers shall return to the people of Israel. And he shall stand and shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they dwell secure, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth, and he shall be their peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response. Let your face shine on us 
and we shall be saved. O oh God, bring us back, let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. O oh Shepherd of Israel, hear us, enthroned on the cherubim, shine forth. Rouse up your might and come to save us. O oh God, bring us back, let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. O oh God, bring us back, let your face shine on us, Look down from heaven and see Visit this wine and protect it The wine your right hand has planted The Son of Man you have claimed for yourself O oh God, bring us back let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. O oh God, bring us back, let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. May your hand be on the man at your right hand, the Son of Man you have conferred as your own, and we shall never forsake you again. Give us life that we may call upon your name. O oh God, bring us back, let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brethren, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifices and offerings you have desired not, but a body have you prepared for me in burnt offerings and sin offerings. You have taken no pleasure. Then I said, Behold, I have come to do your will, O Lord, as it is written of me in the scroll of the book. When he said above, you have neither desired nor taken pleasure in sacrifices and offerings, and burnt offerings and sin offerings. These are offered according to the law. Then he added, Behold, I have come to do your will. He does away with the first in order to establish the second. And by that will we have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Kindly stand for the gospel. Lord, let it be to me according to your word. 
Behold, I'm a servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your will. Behold, I'm a servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your will. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In those days, Mary arose and went with haste into the hill country, to a town in Judah, and she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, the baby leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit, and she exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Why is this granted to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me, and behold, when the sound of your greeting came to my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, isn't there an excitement in the air waiting? The wait is over because Jesus is coming. The scripture readings too are full of meaning, theology, prophecy, spirituality, leading us to this last days before we meet Jesus on Christmas Day. The beautiful gospel passage of today, I want to draw your attention, is the mystery, the second joyful mystery, visitation of our Lord. I also want to point out to you, we say the Hail Mary so many times a day. It's from this text, blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb what Elizabeth said to Mary. The first reading from the prophet Micah, small prophets, minor prophets, and yet he gives a great prophecy. He prophesies here that Jesus, the Messiah, will come from Bethlehem. Most of the people did not know that uh, Jesus came from Bethlehem, that he was born in Bethlehem. We know the, what happened in Bethlehem, and uh, this was prophesied. Jesus was living in Nazareth, he was in Galilee, and so they thought that he was a Galilean, but he was actually born there. Son of David, he says, you shall come for us, the son of David, you shall be, and this again, Jesus is the son of David, uh, the, the, the royal family. The consolation to us and the church wants us to uh, advert to the fact that Jesus' coming, which is soon, was also specifically foretold by the prophets. But the beautiful scene of Mary rushing to Elizabeth, Mary has just been told that she's to be the mother of the Savior, the Annunciation has just taken place, and her first thought is not about herself, her glory. Of course, she was confused, abashed herself, humble as she was. She was immaculately conceived and therefore she was really so very pure, holy, sinless. She was humble, never felt proud of the fact that she had this privilege, was chosen from millions and millions and millions of people 
to be the mother of God herself, the creator, mother of the creator, to be the one to present him to the world. She rushes first things of the, her duty of service to her elderly cousin, who also was with child. And the distance they had, to, it was about 90 kilometers she had to travel. They said it would, no hotels, though uh, she might have gone on foot or let's shared a donkey or what, but she ran, she went, hastened to her cousin, said possibly took three to four days journey. She was pregnant herself with the greatest treasure ever possible in a womb, but she thought of her cousin, service, thought of somebody else at this moment, not of herself. And then we see this beautiful scene of the meeting between the two of them. Elizabeth is inspired. Mary doesn't tell her that I am the mother of the Lord. Elizabeth is inspired. She becomes a prophet herself. As soon as she greets Mary, she says, Blessed are you among women. Why is it granted to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? An illumination to her, an inspiration to her. We don't know, did the angel appear to her husband and told him that he would be a father? There is no account in the scriptures about the angel appearing to uh, Elizabeth. Elizabeth was inspired again immediately to recognize that here is the creator, here is God. She, surely she never understood all the implications of it. And she said, as soon as I sound of your greeting came to my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. And again she praises Mary saying, Blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. Sisters and brothers, we are approaching Christmas to meet the Lord, where we will meet the Lord and personally meet the Lord. But there are many occasions when we meet the Lord in different ways. We meet the Lord in people who are holy, people who are kind, people who are showing mercy towards others, people who are spiritual. We've got to have eyes to be able to notice the presence of God as Elizabeth noticed the presence of God in Mary in a womb. God appears again in events of life. Events of life could be a joyful event, a great success, and then you give glory to God. Events of life also could be a sad event, a failure, a crisis, a major sickness. Again, God comes in all these events. If only we have our eyes to be able to see. God comes also to us in relationships. When you are, you and your husband love him so much and then in this love relationship God comes in love. God comes in when there's peace in the home. God comes when you are doing something which is for the growth of his kingdom. So many ways of presences of God indirect. Soon we will meet him directly. Christmas time in the sacrament of the Eucharist. But there are many other also presences of God, encounters with God. If only we have the eyes to see, ears to hear, hands to touch and feel the presence of God. God comes to us in somebody who is like Mother Teresa, who continuously thinks only of the other. That's the presence of God. God comes to us in a person like Padre Pio, Prince of Assisi, who really brings God's wisdom to us. God comes to us in so many ways. Listen, and brothers, as we prepare ourselves for the coming of Jesus, let us spend a few moments in prayer today itself, trying to reflect and see what are the occasions, what are the events, what are the persons, who are the persons 
What are the associations where I can touch and feel the presence of God as Elizabeth felt? Like Elizabeth, we receive God. But like Mary also, let us be people who take God to others. We are carrying God's peace, his love, his joy, his justice, his concern for others, his mercy, his peace building. Let us be like Mary, carrying Jesus to others also. This really is a message of the fourth Sunday of Advent as we come closer and closer to the Lord. We prepare ourselves. I need not remind you, we prepare ourselves above all by spiritually cleansing ourselves. I'm sure all of us, all of us here, have gone for confession, have asked God's forgiveness for sins, and if because of your own circumstances, the pandemic, you can't really get a priest for sacramental confession, I've told you this before, you can receive God's forgiveness for your sins through making an act of contrition, perfect contrition, asking God's forgiveness, being sorry for your sins through a love of God. I invite all those participating do that today itself have not done. For some places I know you can go for confession, priests are available. Some places priests are not available. God does not depend on, <coughs> sorry, only on the availability of priests to give us mercy. God's always available for us. For each one of you, sick, old, young, in difficulty, far away from the church, receive complete freedom from sin, forgiveness of sin, and prepare yourselves for the coming of the Lord in a few days. Jesus comes. Jesus come into our hearts. God bless you. As we approach Christmas, let's make our act of faith. Jesus is really coming. In the crib, the babe is God. And so we say, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. And in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, forgiveness of sins, resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, Elizabeth was overjoyed to see Mary visiting her house. Let us ask God to give us the same joy and faith that Mary and Elizabeth shared and pray for our various needs. Our response is, Lord, fill us with your hope and joy. All together, Lord, Lord fill, fill us, us with, with your hope and joy. That our Pope Francis, Archbishop Oswald Cardinal Gracious, all the bishops, priest and religious, and the lay faithful may continue to put their trust in the Lord and be filled with the joy of the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, fill us with your hope and joy. That all the political leaders and the governments of our country, just like Mary, may understand the needs of the people and commit themselves to serve them wholeheartedly. 
We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord fill us, us with your hope and, and joy. That all the followers of Christ may rise above the things that enslave them and prepare their hearts to welcome him, our Savior. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord fill, fill us with, with your hope and joy. That we may continue to pray and practice piety by our words and deeds. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord fill, fill us, us with, with your hope and joy. joy. In the silence of our hearts, we pray for our personal intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord fill, fill us, us with, with your hope, hope and joy. joy. Almighty, ever-living God, hear our prayers. May we be open to receive you during the season through our spiritual observances and concern for the poor and the needy and thus become witnesses of your love and compassion. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, to your goodness with this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, you become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, to your goodness with this wine which we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, our Father in heaven. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all is Holy Church. May the Holy Spirit, O Lord, sanctify these gifts laid upon your altar, just as he filled with his power the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, so fulfill the design you formed long ago. He opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, all is at last made manifest. We who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which we now dare to hope. So with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, without end we acclaim. Oh 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be quest eternal life Praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, to you, almighty God, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Sisters and brothers, let us pray to our Heavenly Father now, as we have prayed for Christmas, say, pray for him that his kingdom may come in our lives and in our homes. Our oh, Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, safe from all distress. We wait in joyful hope 
for the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ said your apostles i leave you peace my peace i give you look not on our sins but the faith of your church and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let's offer you the sign of peace Christ be with you lamb of god lord, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of, of the world, world. have mercy on us lamb, lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not, not worthy that you should, should enter into my roof. roof. Don't, Don't say, say the word, word my, soul my soul shall be healed. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O oh Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me, in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your Divine Will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion. Let us pray. Having received this pledge of eternal redemption, we pray, Almighty God, that as the feast day of our salvation draws ever nearer, we may press forward all the more eagerly for the worthy celebration of the mystery of your Son's nativity. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. God bless you. Have a lovely Sunday. Nice to be back once again. And now we'll prepare ourselves for uh, Midnight Mass. You know, Midnight Mass will probably be at 10, but we'll announce it already. I'll announce it once the... I've just come back from Rome, and so not yet finalized things. I'll, I'll let you know what exactly. I think it'll be at 10 o'clock in the night, uh, Indian time, for the direct telecast. God bless. Have a lovely day, and prepare yourselves for Christmas. Prayer for relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make 
for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for an efficacious control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We thank you for blessing the efforts of our research scientists working on the development of a vaccine. We pray that these vaccines will be effective in combating the virus and its mutants and in controlling the spread of the pandemic and be available to all. We pray for doctors, nurses and health workers who are in the front line of this battle, that they be kept safe and have the strength and courage to continue their heroic efforts. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Like a sea without a shore, love divine is boundless. Time is now and never more, and His love surrounds us. Maranatha, Maranatha, Maranatha. Come Lord Jesus, come, so that mankind could be free. He appeared among us. Blessed are those who have not seen, yet believe His promise. Maranatha, Maranatha, Maranatha. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Maranatha, Maranatha, Maranatha. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Lord Jesus, come, Lord Jesus, come, Lord Jesus, come.